Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium, and I'm here to give you an hour or so of entertainment. So just a few announcements that I give before every single show. I'm going to give them again today. Um, please don't get scammed. I never reach out to anybody in comments. Even if you comment first, I don't comment back saying you need a reading. That's up to you. I never tell people when it's time for them to have a reading, get a reading, pay for services. You'll know when that time is. So please do not get scammed by anybody pretending to be me. Of all the people somebody could pretend to be. Not me, folks. Not me. Um, but uh, don't get scammed, okay? Um, I finally, oh my goodness, I finally was able to get um, all, well, most of the clearings and healings up into the shorts. So if you don't go to TikTok or Facebook, now you can go to YouTube you can go to my channel, which you're on, and the shorts are there and all the healings and clearings are there so you can enjoy them. Um, next is, um, are there, I don't know, like I, I never prepare my intro and I should, but I don't. So the next thing I'm going to say is um, today I will be taking callers, although I don't know... Um, there's been a problem with blog talk. The problem was probably with me because the show supposedly I put in the wrong time for the show, maybe. And then I had to redo it and repost it. But now it's up and running. So if you want to call in and ask a question, 845 845 277-9131 is the call-in number. Um, also, um, you can ask questions in YouTube chat. I'm happy to answer those questions for you as well. Just like we do every single week, I am going to uh, do names, songs, channel, and answer questions. I try to make sure I get as many people something as possible. And sometimes people who watch on the TV show or on uh, one, listen on a podcast, they're not able to call in for whatever reason or be a part of the live show. And they may hear a name or a song that tells them their loved one is with them. And that's what that's all about. If I'm saying names, if I'm saying uh, songs, this is a confirmation your loved one is with you. They're answering your questions. They're helping you through this life. Okay. So I'm going to start. I just, I keep feeling like I'm forgetting something and that's okay. I'm just going to get started with um, names. So this could be your name, the name of someone on the other side, or the name of someone you loved. If a message comes through with it, I will say the message. Otherwise, I just try really to do just names during this part of it. Uh, so here, here we go. Um, the first name I'm, I'm actually I I heard one name and I saw another name. Jerome is the name I heard, but George, somebody specifically. Uh, spelled out their name for me, George, and put it in my peri peripheral vision for you. So George and Jerome are the first two names. Maricela, I, I, you know what, if I tried to say that name, I wouldn't even be able to say that name. That's freaking crazy. Maricela. It just comes out, but it's crazy. Okay. Um, Blanca. The next name is um, Maria. The next name is um, oh. Michelle. The next name is Eva. And then the name Evelyn. Eva and then the name Evelyn. And then uh, Jose. And then the next name is 
I think they're just punking me with all these names today. I do not know who's watching, who has all these names I cannot pronounce, but you're welcome. You are welcome. The next name is um, P-A-C-I-E-T-A-R-O. You're welcome. I don't, that might be a place. It might not be a name. It just might be a place is what I'm getting. And then the next name is um, Jerome is saying his name again. And then the next name is, um, and somebody's tickling my nose, the inside of my nose. And you guys, as you know, uh, or most of you know, unless you're new, when they tickle the inside of my nose, children are here. And as soon as I said that, I saw a bunch of children playing on my floor. <laughs> um, so they think it's funny to tickle the inside of my nose or that's just how they let me know they're here. Um, there are a lot of little kids here today. It almost makes me, that one always gets me, you guys, when there are children with me. Because um, for all the reasons, right? For all the reasons it, it would get somebody, but there's a, a lot of children in here today. Okay. Um the next, the next name that I, I am getting is Keisha or Makisha. The next name that I am getting is Pleasant. The next name that I'm getting is um, Tiana. The next name that I'm getting is Michael and Miranda. Okay, that, I'm going to stop the names there because they could just go on. And then I'm going to go into the songs. Now, the song can be, again, a, the song can answer a question you've been asking, something you want to know. The next thing the song can be, something they loved, you loved. I'm hearing Jerry Lee Lewis right away. Um, an artist they loved, Nirvana, I'm hearing. Can I please just finish the sentence? <laughs> A song or a group they loved, you loved, or um, a song you listened to together, or again, a song that is answering a question for you. Anything by Elvis. <laughs> They're really about the songs tonight, you guys. They are so about the songs tonight. So here we go. Um, the, the okay so the first the first song some of the songs that came through on here and there is a song on uh the clear the uh message that I gave out on TikTok today too but the first song i'm hearing is da na 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 fade to black uh, uh and then it gets really like da na 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 na, -na. <laughs> Could you guys give me words? <laughs> so fade to black. That's it. Done. But I have to say the first part of it with it because there's another fade to black song. And this is this fade to black song is not that song. So da na 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 na. I want to make it black. So that whatever that song is, okay, whatever that song is, Patrick's here. Hey, Patrick, Patrick's really good with songs. I think I saw Patrick's name. Um, so Patrick, if you know, yeah, there you are, Patrick. Uh, happy to have you back. Are you back from California yet? Um, let me know, Patrick, if you know what that song, if you know what that song is. Okay, the next song, ironically, and there are a lot of children here. And just because they are little now doesn't mean they went recently. They could have gone at um, in the past. Okay, so one of the things I'm hearing is Jack in the Box and Jack and Jill. Jack in the Box and Jack and Jill. Okay, the next song I'm hearing is um, If You Love Me, Let Me Know. If You Don't, Then Let Me Go. And I'm not going to try to sing that. But because I think everybody just would know that, and I don't, I don't have to sing it. Um, the next song is "We Gotta Get Out of This Place." 
<laughs> it's a really deep raspy voice. <laughs> if it's the something like maybe if it's the last thing we ever do, we got it. Who sings that? <laughs> um, and then I'm hearing Wayne Newton. Wayne something. Wayne. Okay, that that. And then, and then I'm seeing the guy who did the shows and all the women threw their, <laughs> Jesus, all the women threw their underwear at him <laughs> while he was on stage. <sighs> Welcome to my life. <laughs> this is my life. Everybody says they want to be able to do what I do until they do what I do. <laughs> Okay, more songs. Let's do a couple more songs. Okay. Um, that song that goes James Brown, James Brown. And I'm not getting any other words. And then I'm hearing Barry White. And the next song is um, Oh, give me a second. It's that Gasolina song, which I've heard before on the show, but it's 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 just that song, that Gasolina, -na 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 -na, that song. Um, and then the next song I'm hearing is um, I'm gonna do maybe this this is probably going to be the last song that I do, but the next song that I'm getting uh, I'm hearing the group Godsmack, anything Godsmack. That's a that's a pretty interesting name. Um, and then the song, um, and then I'm seeing Metallica, but the next song is ACDC. And oh, Jesus, I've got the biggest balls of them all. I can't even look at you guys. I can't. I can't even open my eyes and look at myself on the screen. I can't. It, it, it is a song. It is real. This is, this is, this is it. <laughs> yep, that's it. That's where we are today. Okay. Um, so, okay. We have so many people in the chat. Thank you for being here, everybody. Thank you for spending this time with me. Mina is here. Van Halen song. Uh, Patrick, the yard birds sang. We got to get out of this place. Thank you, Patrick. Patrick always knows the music. Fade to black. Got to fade to black. Yeah, that's it. Is that Dire Straits has a song called? I don't think it's that one. I think maybe it's older than that one. Um, I see a pretty painting and I want to make it black or something like that. Patrick, do you know that one? I don't know. Okay. Oh, Painted Black by the Rolling Stones. Is that it? I think it might be. Okay, uh, Mysterio, how are you today? The Stones, yeah, okay, second one. The Stones, Painted Black, yep. Um, Heather, what's up? Oh, gosh, you guys, thank you so much. Um, uh, hey, uh, Laura. I did answer that question for you already in the chat, so you might want to check that out. But I'll give you, I did ask you a question also about that. So you might want to check the chat and then answer my question, and I'll get back to you on more details, or you could just call in. The call-in number is 845-277-9131. Here we go. I feel it. They're here. It's time. Whew. You guys, there's a point in the show, like when I begin, I'm a little bit like the energy is um, a little all like not chaotic, but it's not quite solid yet. And then at this point, normally it like hits solid. Good. We we can do anything at this point in the show. So, hey, Maria, how are you? So what I'm, hey, Fawn. <laughs> So what I'm getting right now is um, 
Uh, the, there's another song. I want to ride my bicycle. I want to. that song is coming through, and I know I've had it before. I'm going to take callers. I'm going to answer their questions, and then I'm going to answer questions in the chat. I'm going to go back and forth and do this. Um, so if you again, uh, you can call in or you can put your question in the chat. And here we go. Seven six zero seven six zero. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Georgette, and I'm calling from California. Hey, Georgette, how can I help you today? I was wondering if you could um, tap into if I'm going to be traveling within the next few months. Okay, what well, abroad? Uh, abroad. Thank you, thank you for that because I get I did get two answers instantly. Thank you for picking for for defining it. Um, you are going to be traveling uh, in the next two months. Will you be going out? Will you be going abroad? Oh, it'll be really tight. Um, here's a, here, Honestly, I think it might be right after the two-month mark that you go because I'm hearing in the three-month mark you're going to end up going abroad, um, maybe in the four-month mark. So yeah. don't try to push it too soon. Let everything fall into place. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. I said the next few months, not two few, months. Oh, a few months. Thank you. Thank you then. Okay, thank you. Sometimes between like my phone's on speaker and it's not close to me, so it can be close to the speaker for the show. So, so I'm sorry, I misunderstood that. Yes, in the three to four That's month, okay. three to four month mark, I feel like you will be going abroad. Um, allow it to happen naturally, like if you don't push it, if you don't, if you just allow, if you keep watching and that you're going to find the perfect everything, okay, everything's going to just be the perfect everything and you're really going to be happy that you, um, oh my gosh, that you have, you waited and that you did it that way. So please uh, be patient with the planning of this, but everything is going to fall into place and it's going to be it's going to be a spectacular trip is what I'm hearing. And I do feel like it is going to come between that three and four month mark. And you're just going to love it. Oh, and does it involve another person? Mm. Well, here's what I want to say about that. Not the way you might be thinking right now. Okay. I want to ask you a question. Are you planning to go see somebody that you've met online? Actually, I'm with somebody that I met online and he is planning on traveling back to his country and it, it's supposedly for a temporary period of time. And I'm just not sure whether um, that would involve me either, you know, from the onset that he leaves or sometime like, well, he's already there. Okay. Can I ask you what country is it? It's France. Oh, nice. Very nice. Um. I'm just asking questions right now in a different way than you ask them to get the most direct answers. You're going to be there part of the time that he's there. Are you going to leave with him? I feel like you're going to have the opportunity to possibly leave with him, but not stay the whole time. You'll have to, for whatever reason, you'll be returning before him, for before this person. Okay. That's what I'm getting. Um, I do feel like it, here's what I'm going to say. And I know that you, you might think I mean this in one way, but I, it may, they may mean it in a different way. Don't have expectations when you go. Okay. Don't have expectations about the trip and don't have expectations while you're there. Kind of let it all unfold naturally. 
Um, expect things to change. Even if you have plans, just have the expectation that they may change either prior to going or while you're there. Okay, love? Okay. Is that something that will be upsetting or? Okay. So here's the deal. And I appreciate all of your questions, but you need a, you need a reading. If you, um, and I do appreciate your questions. And I typically take one question per person. And if you have follow-up questions, a lot of follow-up questions, that's a private reading. So if you would like to book a private reading, the, uh, and I'm not, don't, people don't think I'm whatever for muting that and moving on. There's a whole bunch of people on YouTube and in the call log waiting. And I typically say at the beginning of every show, one solid question and or one connection. So um, so just trying to be fair to everybody else who's involved in the show this evening, uh, www.tonig.info, you can book a private reading and I will be happy to go as long as you need on that particular question or any other question that you have about your trip or life in general. Um, I'm going to go to the chat and find a question. Um, and of course, and of course, and then the hang up. She's such a big fan. <laughs> she, <laughs> yes. So don't feel bad that I muted her because she didn't even hang around. I could have answered the rest of it, but whatever, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Uh, Mina wants to know, hi, Tony. This has been a year of continued adversity. It's February, Mina. I'm so sorry. Um, do you see any area or some good news coming in for me? Thank you. No telephone. No worries, Mina. I'm happy to answer this for you over the, uh, YouTube question area. Um, Here's what I'm getting. Yes, it is going to get better in the end of March. You're going to see things start to transition a teensy wincy bit. Okay, Mina. After that, by the time you hit April and May, you will see more things transitioning into a lighter, happier side. Okay. Um, what I will tell you is as you go to sleep at night, Mina, it's really important not to think about what you're concerned about or worried about or thinking about or what has happened. Um, think only about what you want to come in. And also an, another thing to do is if, um, if you can play something positive as you're falling asleep, that is even better. Um, it really does transition you in your sleep. And sleep is a healing time anyway. So if you can really transition yourself during your sleep, um, that's however many hours you're asleep, that's the most powerful thing you can do for yourself. Um, end of March, things are going to start to improve a little bit. And then they will get better after that, okay? Um, I do wish you a much better experience in this life. I'm, I'm going to tell you this. This is um, one of the statements that's in a couple of the books that I've already written, but it's going to be in my next book that I'm in the process of doing right now. And it is, what if you're like this world, in this world, um, what if you are the main what if this world is a like a TV show or a play? And what if you're the main actress or actor? Now add to that, you're not only the main character, the main actress or actor, but you are also the uh, writer and the director. So you get to decide whether all the other actors and actresses that interact with you and how they do that by deciding this yes to this no to that yes to this and to not um to not fall into that 
place where you are going along or in somebody else's show being a, a co-actor to what they want. And that's really, I, I know I'm not saying that as eloquently as I could right now, but the truth of the matter is that is really how this world works. And when we completely comprehend that, and I'm going to do a clearing on that right now, when we comprehend that we are in charge of what happens in our life, we go from default to, you know, just taking charge. And many of us at some point in our life don't feel that power or that energy or have that understanding or knowing of that. But I'm going to tell you right now, when we're in our power and we just sit with our eyes closed for a second and say, show me, and we start getting those visions or we start getting those knowings or those understandings, it is a phenomenal, just phenomenal what comes in next. You will be amazed at it. So sometimes we have to like let go of some of the things, but we have to really have the understanding that nothing can happen to us without our permission. Nothing can happen for us without our permission either. So we have to start giving permission for things to leave our life and things to come into our life. For what we want, I give permission for this to come in. I do not give permission for this. And it really is that simple. And if you're the co-creator with the creator, if you are the co-creator and you are creating with the creator, because we came down here to create, not to go along to get along, but to create what we want, how we want, when we want. So if that is who we are and what we're doing here, then we have to put our ourselves in that position of being, we have to put out what we want. And the the, when we feel it, when we really feel what we want, when we're saying it and we feel it, it comes in. It comes to fruition. It's, it might be like a drip first, just this teeny weeny little drip. But then, but then, oh, my sweet child, it will start to run and then the dam will break open and you'll say, I finally get how to play with the water. I finally get how to make it rain. I finally get how to make a monsoon in my personal life. And that is what we're here for. We are not here to be, I have to watch the words I use. We are not here to be told or directed. We are here to direct our own lives and be in our power. Okay. Thank you for that question. I'm going to go to the next caller who is 204. 204, what's your name? And where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. This is um, Alan calling from Winnipeg, uh, Canada. Hey. I've talked to you before. I'm also Mysterio on the chat as well. Oh, uh, Mysterio? Yeah. Oh, excellent. Thank you so much for calling in. How can I help you? Okay. Um, a, a couple of weeks ago, you said that I probably might be um, experiencing a romantic relationship coming into my life in the next couple of months. So that was like uh, late December. So I'm wanting to know what uh, names or initials I should be looking out for for a woman. Okay. So I typically don't do that because, well... I don't want okay. you to limit it, but what I can tell you is she has, her hair is lighter, not darker. Now she may color her hair, okay. but the vision that I'm seeing is her hair is, um, it's very pretty as a matter of fact, but she, she is more of a feminine woman. 
So you're really going to need to step into your masculine. You're going to need to be, because she is very feminine. And um, she is also very, uh, well, that's what I can say. Here's what happens sometimes when I give too many exact points about a potential partner. Um, somebody somebody could come in who could be the right person, but because they uh, used their middle name instead of their first name or something like that, it can, it can um, be, uh, it could not happen. So what I like to do is keep it a little bit more open, but I will tell you, she's, Oh, she, most of the time she's smiling and it's a genuine smile. She's professional. She works in a professional industry. She is feminine and she expects a man to be a man. And she does not play games. Um, she could have a lot of people pursuing her, but she doesn't care about that. She doesn't like that. Um, she's more interested not in... Um, quantity, but in the quality of the person. If you're not serious, she doesn't want to deal with a person who's not serious about a relationship or their life. Um, and she's kind of a go-getter. She's very much a go-getter. Um, and that's, that's what I have about her. Okay. Uh, j just one thing in context. It's not another question. So uh, uh, my background is, um, uh, ethically, I'm, uh, my parents were from Jamaica, so it's, um, I guess it'll probably be most likely an interracial relationship, I guess, that, that, that matters, but that's not another question that's giving context of who I am. I love, <laughs> I love you guys. Um, it doesn't matter. Um, there are plenty of women of every a culture or race that have different color hair. So please don't think that um, if I say she has lighter hair over darker hair, and again, we all, most women get our hair done. We, we don't, you know, we don't have our natural birth color on our head. So, um, or we have to do what we have to do to get our natural birth color back. But the, the point is, um, that is not, I, I, I would say be open, but don't, don't, you know what they're saying is don't worry about that. You're going to know when you know, you're going to, when you, when you see this person, you're going to know. And again, um, again, like the, the color of the hair that could be on any color of skin. That's the way to say it. Thank you. So I, I really do hope that's helpful, okay. love. Okay, thank you very much. You are so welcome. Just please remember to stay in your masculine when you're with her and be, be that person with her because she doesn't fool around. She really doesn't fool around as far as... Um, as far as uh, what she'll deal with in a relationship, okay? So that's what I have for that. I'm going to scroll down. I was waiting for an answer to a question on here. Uh, la, 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 la. Mina said everything. She understood it makes sense. Hey, Kate, Kylie. Uh, D, mm, I don't see the response I'm looking for, so I'm going to go to the next question. And I think the next question is from Julie. Hi, Tony. My sister lost her 19 years old cat. Wow, 19 years old. Um, Katie, in a bad way. 
do you do you have message from Katie if she is okay and does she forgive my sister? That is a question. I laugh when I get nervous. It's a horrible thing I do. Please don't take that personally. Um, sometimes when I get like some nervous energy in me, I just laugh. I can't help it. <laughs> so I was coming back to from Florida and some woman, some very, very, very large woman while boarding the plane, I mean, she was, she could have done some damage to me. Um, but she was trying to jump in front of everybody. And I was like, yo, no. I said, hey, excuse us. And she just started yelling at me. And I said, I said, uh-uh. I said, no, we, we all paid for tickets, sweetie. And because she was like, I paid for tickets. I'm like, do you think they were giving ours away? Hello. <laughs> um, and she told me she started yelling, shut the F up to me. And I just started laughing. So I just inappropriately laugh at things, especially if it's, um, you know, something very e emotional like this. So I apologize for that. And then she had some other really nice things to say to me. I think she wants to be a pen pal. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. Because <laughs> I just kept laughing at her. I just kept laughing right in her face. I just kept laughing. Oh, if you really want to anger somebody, just laugh at them when they're upset with you. <laughs> Julie, I need to apologize right now. <laughs> okay, so the cat, let me get it. I, I'm really nervous to get into this energy as the truth because, um, well, the first thing that I'm hearing, and it's not from Katie the cat, it is from somebody else. It was time. It was really time and there was nothing else. You know, if it, it was time. So don't feel badly, don't feel sadly, don't feel upset about this. It was time. The cat is okay. I see the cat in like a grandmother's arms. A grandmother, not a mother, but in in a it was it, it it's like in a grandmother's arms, so it's safe, it's okay. And it was time. And I hope that's helpful and I'm going to pull out of that energy because um well because because it's time to go to a caller. Um, tonight is a very interesting show. One, one, one. What, what's your name and where are you calling from? I'm Valentina, Colorado, and I'm just calling to say hi. 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 And I'm Yes, ma'am, you do, you do help. You really, really do help, really. Um, ma'am, I just want to know my, my job. There was a situation with my job um, a few days ago that uh, I'm being, uh, do you see me coming back to the same job before the end of the week or how, how soon? Um, it might take, <clears throat> <clears throat> is she going to come back before the end of the month? Oh. Before the end of the month. You might come back before the end of the month, but I I'm not feeling like it's going to be the end of the week. I feel like it will be the end of the month. And, you know, Tina, I'm going to just say to you, you don't have to do this, but I'm hearing this, so I'm going to say it. It's in your best interest that you might also want to start looking um, at other, like looking for another job. Um, I just feel like you might need to, Start looking for another job for yourself, just to find some place that uh, might feel a little bit better to you. Actually, I just think I just really think I need to give you the message. It's it, it, start looking for an and I'm not predicting or saying they're going to or not going to do anything. Sometimes they just tell people to look for another job because the person deserves a better work situation. 
And that's yeah. that's what I'm hearing for you. So start looking because it's always good to know what else is out there and what else is available. Excuse me, and what else is available, and how you can <clears throat> how you can move up or move in different companies. I think that's always a really good thing for everybody. Okay, Tina. Yes, ma'am. You're right. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to be doing that story tomorrow. Thank you. I. You're welcome, and have an amazing night. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. Thank you. So I have just a little thing in my throat. So just please give me a second. Okay. <clears throat> Hopefully that took care of it. Tonight's show is just so fun and interesting. So I'm going to go to the next question in the chat. Ah, la, 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 la. Uh, if there's time, this is from Maria. If there's time, can I have a message from my mom, Antonia, Antonina, I'm so sorry, Antonina, in spirit, absolutely. I, you know what, Maria, I'm going to, I'm going to scroll all the way down and I want to ask you, Maria, I'm, I'm going to wait for your, your answer in the chat. Oh, Maria, good. You're right there. I love that. Um, Maria, <clears throat> was there something with your mom's throat? like and or chest area um I, or if anybody else is listening and that resonates please let me know so antonina um the first thing i'm hearing oddly enough is the song by santana maria maria something 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 um she is with you a lot and she she spends um a great deal of time uh, trying to uh, talk talk with you. Uh, yes, there was something with her throat and her chest. Okay, thank you for confirming that. She spends a, gr a great deal of time trying to talk with you and or communic communicate with you. And the way that you would know it's her communication is through scent and also through thoughts like when she's talking to you you'll hear it like a thought in your head um and she's like when you're talking to yourself or thinking and that thing pops into your head that sounds just like her it's her it's her she's like all up on that she's like blah, 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 to you um and talking to you now the one thing i will say that she is saying for you is um and there's a, ah, I wish I knew the words to the song better. Take time. Da, na, 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 na. Oh, what song is that? Can somebody please give the words to that song? Take time for a, take time. Okay, I. that's the only part of the song I'm hearing. So what I'm going to say is what that could, should maybe mean is uh, obviously, Take time with what you're doing or take time with people around you. Yes, take time with a wounded hand. So, okay, thank you. Thank you, Kylie. Um, yep. Oh, and Maria knows the song too. So if you're feeling wounded, if you have things going on in your life, so it's, first of all, confirmation again that you know that song and it's coming through. Thank you for all the comfort. See, this is, I love this kind of chat confirmation right away on top of it. Love it. Thank you, Maria. Um, if you're feeling wounded, hurt, take time with yourself. Don't force yourself or push yourself to be okay, but she's always with you. And when you're smelling things that would have smelt like her or what she cooked or whatever it is, even if you're out in public, like one of my things is that when, whew, when, I'm out in public and I used to smell cigarette smoke. I used to get so like, um, but now when I smell it, I the first thing I hear in my head is mom because my mom used to smoke all the time, all the time. And so when I smell that now, I hear instantly mom and I get not upset by it, but like, oh, mom. Like, so th that's, that's one thing. So scent, and I feel like 
when you're walking through your home and if there was a scent of her perfume or her cooking that all of a sudden hits you, that's her. Or, and, ooh, ah, when she was passing, if it, if when she was passing, there was a certain scent and you keep smelling that, that's her too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's her too. Yeah. Okay. Um, so Maria, I hope that was, and she loves, she, she, she said, tell her I love, you know, whenever I go to end, they always, and I go, I say, and she loves you. And everybody thinks, well, that's such a whatever. You know what? Yeah, it is. If you're one of those people that goes, oh, she says that to everybody or, oh, that's such a what? Yeah, it is. But you know what? When they are not here to say it to you and they can get it through and somebody else, they're going to get it out. So, mm, mm, yeah, mm, mm. okay. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I do not know where that came from. One of my guides don't like your attitude. I'm kidding. I'm so joking. No, seriously, because people will say, oh, that's just such a whatever message. It's not. Not to the person receiving it. Like when your loved one in that last minute when I'm when I'm checking off your message they're sending that and she loves you message and she loves you message that means everything to that person even if it seems like oh well you say that to, no it it that is everything to the person getting it so please don't please don't uh think that okay so okay um and she loves you and there are four people with her so she, it's her and four others, three others that are always around you, three others, a total of four. So um, it's it's her and three other people, not four, but three. Once in a while, a fourth person comes in and out. But there are four people total that are around you quite a bit. And they're helping you to move to the next space you're going to be in, whether that's emotionally, mentally, physically, whatever that is. They're helping you to get there. So don't stop. Don't stop. Just it's 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 a hump and you're going to get over it and you're going to be good once you do. Once you get over it, you're going to be so good. You're going to really be good. OK, OK. OK, I'm going to take a caller. Uh, 724, what's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, my name's Laura, and I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Okay, Laura, how can I help you today? Um, sorry, I just got out of the room. <laughs> I just was wondering um, if you can tell me if me and my new relationship is going to... I'm 60 and he's 40, and I'm just wondering if what you see for us for the future. Okay, so Laura, um, like long term, like marriage, or yeah, okay, so I'm gonna be really honest with you because I'm not allowed to not be honest. Um, this has the potential now, there's a difference the, the, how people ask questions is very important, and I give the answer. Well, I ran back here. And, um, yeah, I knew I was going to be, uh, what you told the other person was so awesome. Like, you're just really good. So, well, I just wanted to tell you that thank listening you. to that and the name Lolly that you said, and you, you were all goofy about it. I relate, I relate to that. My sister, they still call me it, but I lost one. She called, I call her, she calls me Lolly. Excellent. Oh, that's very cool. Because wasn't your song "Good Golly Miss"? Good. Oh well, I don't know, but Lolly. Okay. No, it's, so let no, me. It's not the song. You said the name. Okay. Oh, I did. See, in the beginning, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna. I don't remember the names I say or the. Um, I don't remember that. Right. Like after I say it, it's gone. But let me let me answer your question for you because that's what you want to know. So the, the way 
I will answer the question according to how you ask it. But if you ask a different question, you're going to get a different answer. So do you two have the potential to be a long-term relationship? Yeah. Yeah, you do. You have the potential to be a long-term relationship. There's another way to answer that question or ask that question that would give a, a different perspective on it. Um, and what I would say to you is to be, to go slow and to watch, watch motivations. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Watch motivations and make sure, you know, when, sometimes we really want to be in a relationship and we really, you know, when we meet somebody, we just want it to be this. But if we stick with what we want because we want a relationship instead of really looking at everything and assessing it and, and jumping if we need to, we're missing the one that's meant for us. Um, if I were to, you know, I waited um, twelve years before I met him, and he'll try to heal everything that I went through. Okay. So I, I get what you're saying, but and <laughs> so what I would say is just be very um, eyes wide open in this situation. Okay, love. Yes, yeah, see from bird's eye view, up from above, yeah, and like the observer. Exactly. And one of the things I say to people all the time is if you really, you know, when you're in a relationship and things start to happen, always ask yourself, if somebody I loved were in this relationship and this was happening to them, would I think it was okay? Or would right. I have a different perspective? Because deep down we know, we just might not want to believe it for all the reasons we don't want to. Believe. And I, listen, I've been in, in a situation with someone where I really wanted to believe the best. I really wanted to believe it could work. I really wanted because I'm a very loyal and very uh, like if I'm in yeah, something I'm in me it too. yeah but that really got me spanked and not in the good way I was spanked so hard and and just kept kept trying to say well maybe it's this well maybe it's that and the fact was maybe you just need to open your eyes and realize this is not the right situation for you, me, you know, in my case. And so when I see the potential for that in somebody else in the gentlest way possible, I try to say to the person, you don't have to learn this lesson again, love. You don't have to listen to these words and do what you want with them. You do not have to learn this lesson again, love. Now, I'm going to tell you the person, there's the potential if and when this does not work out, if it does not work out or when it does not work out, there is another person, but that person is a little bit older than you. And there's the potential for that relationship. Now, I'm not saying that you should do this, that, or the other thing. I'm just letting you know this is the information that I'm getting and I'm giving it to you. Okay, love? Yes, thank you very much. You are so welcome. I appreciate it. I'm so happy I could give it and I hope it's helpful. You know, I do want to say it's never easy to tell someone something they don't want to hear, but it's an agreement I made. And so many times on my show, people have come in and they've said, you know, when I want to hear fluff or when I'm not ready to hear the truth, I might call this person. But when I'm ready to hear the truth, I will call you and get the truth. And one of the things that if I even try to fluff something, they will jump in and speak through me and tell the truth. Um, 
because it may hurt not to get the answer that you want. It may hurt right now, but it's going to hurt a hell of a lot more to be in a situation you shouldn't be in for however long you shouldn't be in it. It will hurt a lot more to go through all of that again than this, hearing this now and acting on it. And I feel like the sooner that we get the truth, the um, the better it can be for us to um, have that truth and to move forward in a way that is powerful for us and be with the right person. So a lot of times women don't stay with a man because they don't have another choice or options. We stay with a man because we're loyal. And... <laughs> <laughs> but once we're done, oh, <laughs> we knew there were other options. We were just seeing what would work and what wouldn't. And then we move on. <laughs> so please just know that. And, and whatever. I'm just going to move on to the next question now. Um, <laughs> uh, hey, SB, how are you? Welcome to the show, Kylie. Um how, Kylie wants to know, how will my trip go next week? Good. I hear it's going to be fantastic. Have fun. Be safe. Have fun. Have fun. Be safe. Have fun. Um, I love my mommy, too. I miss her. Oh, right, SB. We, oh. That is one thing we don't realize until that happens, like with our parents, like my father was never, ever, 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 ever in my life. When I was four, he was gone. And his nickname for me was the B. Um, awesome dad. Yeah. Um, but I will tell you this. So when he passed, it was like, oh, okay. But when my mom went I never, there were so many different things and so many different areas I never realized that would be. And, and um, the, the, just the, um, you know, sometimes we tend to have re relationship issues with our parents and we think we're right. And then when we find out they're passing or like, this is it we really changed that very quickly to I was just afraid or, you know, how ridiculous of me to stand on that hill and miss the mountain. And a lot of realizations came to me when my mom passed about, um, about everything with her and I in our relationship. And that's when you tell people, like you say, if I could do it over again, it would probably go the same because that's the way it was supposed to go. But I would hope I would be a person who could show up like this. And when you try to tell people who are having complications with their uh, relationship. 90 their, seconds. <gasps> no, not 90 seconds. Um, with their parent or whatever, when you try to say, yeah, but someday, and they just, you don't get it until that time comes. I'm just going to tell you. Okay. Hey, everybody, I'm going to try to throw a weekend show in because there are so many people I could not get to. And I apologize for that. I will be back this weekend. Um, I'm going to commit to it. I am. I'm committing. seconds. Shh. Um, I love you all so very, very much.